Religion, The Real Matrix, the book based on African spirituality and mythology from ancient Kemet or Egypt. Written by author Heru Ifangbemi, the book shows that all Western religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam plagiarized from African spiritual systems to come up with their religions. Buy the book on Amazon. Link is in the description box. Let's go. Live. This is your writer, Anthony L. Kelly, right here. Check it out. These are my books. Mac, Jaja, book, Sunshine, and this is my first book published, Saving Miss Carolina, and this is my latest, El Manic. Uh, go check this book out, man. This is a nod at hip hop on its 50th anniversary. This is uh, a nod to one of the illest MCs to ever do it, Nasir Jones. I'll leave all the, the links in the description box. Salute to everybody who's ever supported me, man. Y'all go support your boy, Anthony L. Kelly. Check till next time. I'm out. Topic. We didn't bring it up in a, in a pre production, but I saw it. Jeffrey Hinton, who is known as the godfather of AI, he quits Google and warns of danger ahead. We've been talking about this AI shit for the last couple of weeks, having fun with it. We've heard a lot of songs from AI people, and it sounds cool, right? But it says the New York Times reports that Jeffrey Hinton, a prominent artificial intelligence researcher, has quit his job of more than a decade at Google and says he is now partly, he now partly regrets his work advancing the burgeoning technology because of the risk it possesses to society. He says resulting in a world with so much fake imagery and text that nobody will be able to tell us what is true anymore. The spread of misinformation is only Hinton's immediate concern. On a longer timeline, he's worried that AI will eliminate route jobs and possibly humanity itself as AI begins to write and run its own code. The wow. idea that this stuff could actually get smarter than people. A few people believe that said Hinton to the NYT, but most people thought it was a was way off. Excuse me. And I thought it was way off. I thought it was 30 to 50 years or even longer away. Obviously, I no longer think that. So they took for granted the power that they were. It reminds me of almost like iRobot shit. Yeah. They ain't realize what they had. Now these motherfuckers have mine of their own and they take and wiping out everybody. Now, okay, maybe something laughable. But what are we talking in the next 10, 15 years? Do you think, because this dude ran, he was working for Google. So obviously he's probably making millions of dollars. He left. He said he was scared. He warns people. If he ends up dying, we know there's something more serious. And we don't want to see that. <laughs> we know how this goes. What do you think, man? Is AI really going to be a detriment the way they're forecasting it to be within the next couple of years? Well, yeah, I heard yeah. a story. I don't know if you've seen this. You probably One of y'all probably seen this. Where it was a lady. And um, they had like an AI pretty much. And they like had the voice of somebody. And they pretty much called. It was like they were trying to scam, whatever. And they said that her son got into like a wreck. You know, I mean, you've seen that, right? Yep, I did. There's been a lot of cases like that. You know, um, it's a lot of ways this thing could go wrong. You know, what I mean, I guess I'm not thinking as you know as broad as this could be. You know what I mean? We we looking at the music part, but this can go a lot of different ways. Somebody could, you know, have your voice and make a video, or you saying some wild stuff, mm -hmm. and it ain't even you. You know what I mean? You talking about you did this and that, whatever the case may be. Um, now as far as like. It get it's writing its own code and it's 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 like I right, robot is starting to destroy us and stuff like that. I think that's a little bit conspiracy. I don't really see that happening because at the end of the day we're creating, you know, that. But then again, it all depends on who's the mastermind and who's the people putting this shit together and who put this together and how far this really goes. I think I have to really look into how far this AI shit really, really goes. Cause now it's just the music. They can yeah. duplicate somebody's voice and but like, how far does this shit really, really go? Yeah, I have to find that out, and I really just don't know right now. I'm a novice, right? When it comes to you know the AI and how far you know it could really and how damaging it could be once it's really out there like that. You know, we joke a lot about clones and shit like that, and we joked about it last week, and it was crazy to see the outpouring of people that disagreed about Gucci Man being a clone. People really think Gucci Man is a clone out here, but anyway, what if they already are cloning all of us? They got mm. our fingerprint. They got our eyes. We put on these different filters where they turn us old, they turn us new. They're basically Damn. scanning our DNA already. So who's to say that right. somebody, a uh, AI version of old guy can't go to old guy's bank and to take out money because he knows his signature and knows this and knows that. Like, yeah. what if we're all already being cloned and we just don't know based off of AI and technology? They've got Biggie's voice singing all kind of shit. This man been dead for damn near 30 years. Yeah. And he's singing new lyrics. Yeah. Does it sound exactly like him? No. Right. right. But it's close, a fuck it's enough. close enough. 
to where this debate version, how far are they going to bring this? So it's an interesting conversation. Hopefully we get on um, uh, a copyright expert to kind of talk about the music side of AI and, and the damaging effects of that. But it's something to pay attention to, man. This AI is getting louder and it's something to pay attention yeah, to. Yeah, I think I, I think the music industry is going to snuff it out. Yeah. I think they're going to they gonna snuff it out because it, it's right there. It's too, it's too far reaching now. I think it's going to the point where now like people are now putting out like said ain't like a song out there now that's, that's making waves <laughs> not really that artist yeah and it's like it's getting spins yeah so I, I mean the one that i seen that blew my mind is a kanye one and it sounded like almost better than a kanye rap but it was his voice mm. and i'm like damn like this shit is going to explode if you don't get a handle on this and i'm not saying i'm necessarily against it right now but if you got an intellectual property, if you right, are an artist, right. I'm not an artist. I was an artist. I'll be against that shit. Yeah. Like, fuck that. You're not taking my voice and going in. I need a piece of that shit. Yeah. You're going to make a song with my voice and, you know, put it out there and get money. Nah, I need mine. Yeah. I need 90% of that shit. Facts. Then me 100%. That's my voice. Yeah. So maybe I, I, some people say maybe you can start to patent voices. That might be, a, you know, um something or I don't know if that's possible, but maybe that might be an option. In the future, they get a patent on your voice. Yeah, and this is why I want to bring in an expert to kind of break this yeah. down because they a lot of people were arguing that you can't copyright somebody's voice, right? So they can go ahead and use their voice, but you're also distributing that somebody's image and likeness. Yeah, you're not just saying, okay, let me throw this AI version of Niggas in Paris out featuring Biggie and Tupac. No, you're putting Biggie and Tupac, Niggas in Paris. You're putting their name yeah. out there, and then you're using their voice. So. A lot of people aren't as slick as they think that they're they're just saying can be copyrighted. Yeah, absolutely. Right. So if your name is hooked up with your voice, then how you and you're not getting any money if you just put niggas in Paris AI version, who's doing it? Right. So you gotta put a name so that people can identify with the voice. So I I don't know, man. It's interesting. I can't wait to see and, and break down the laws and things like that and, and see where this goes, man. And I look at it like this, man. Mankind's gonna find a way. We've probably been here for millions of years. Ain't no robot taking over shit. Mm-mm. I don't care what the movies say. This, Look, that, and the third. Nervous, <laughs> Ain't no robots. What, what they gonna do? Kill us all? And then what? Right. They gonna produce babies? Right. They gonna have a robot world? Right. Transformer shit. All right. <laughs> man, and find a way. You, you, this white man ain't letting nobody over. <laughs> shit. You know what I mean, it ain't happening. He running this shit. <laughs> he ain't letting nothing, black, white, or robot take over this shit. <laughs> That's a fact, man. That's all I got. That's funny as hell. Yeah, man. Another episode of the Hip Hop Center <laughs> podcast is in the books. That's your brother Sam Man Viral Hip Hop News. I'm your brother Oh God. Hip Hop News on Sense Together with the Hip Hop Center podcast. Over and out. Peace.